Hey guys, a quick video about how to use ferrules, especially for 3D printing. I had a previous 3D printer, the Anycubic Mega S, where I had an issue with the stranded wire within the printer itself on the power supply, where the stranded wire ends was tinned with solder and was screwed into the terminal block. And over time, the clamping force from the screw caused the solder to weaken and the contact resistance increase causing it to heat up and melt away, as you can see in this picture. So yeah, can you say fire hazard? So what I decided to do was address the issue and I picked up this ferrule kit, very inexpensive. I'm going to address the issues of the soldered tinned wire ends and replace them with proper ferrules so that there can be a really good connection in the terminal block. All right, let's open up the printer and get to it. Also, this issue isn't limited to just uh, budget 3D printers, but uh, many other consumer electronics, but especially for a terminal block like this that uh, is for the heated bed. This is just a how-to on ferrules, and I'm just using my 3D printer as a way to show you. So to attach the ferrules, quite simple. All I'm going to do is nip off the end of the soldered wire, tinned end, then strip off a bit of the end of the wire so that now I have stranded wire again. So the ferrules come in all kinds of sizes. So I'm just going to grab one that corresponds to the gauge of wire that I'm going to crimp or terminate. All of this is a metal surround and then a piece of plastic at the end to prevent the wire from being exposed. But you don't even have to necessarily have that. You could heat shrink it as well. And here's the crimper I got with the kit. Here's the close up of the mechanism. So you get a nice even crimp. Now I'm just going to take my wire and my ferrule and I'm just going to place it over the wire like that. I'm going to take the end of the ferrule with the wire inside of it, put it into my tool and then ratchet it shut. And that's it. Super solid connection. And now I can screw this back into the terminal block. What a ferrule allows you to do is when you bundle and then crimp stranded wire, you end up essentially with a solid core wire. This allows strain relief and each strand of wire can now be inserted into the terminal block or connector without the issue of errant wires. Alright, that looks really good. And that's how you use ferrules and I got it all to fit. Well, I think I'll end the video here. I hope you found it helpful on how to use ferrules. And I upgraded my 3D printer.